I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Well, hi everybody. I'm back with another video. It's been a couple of months, sorry about that. For today's video, I wanted to feature an Edison Home Model B phonograph from my collection. But this particular Edison Home Model B has an interesting feature on it. Here you can see what looks like a normal Edison home phonograph model B it has the two and four minute gearing as you can see by the uh, dual pulleys there it has nice original model O reproducer one of the interesting things is it was purchased originally at Whipple and Foreman in uh, Auburn, New York. But the interesting feature that I wanted to show you for this phonograph is here. See that curious peg or cylinder that protrudes up from the bed plate on this. That is part or a portion of the Wilkes like start and stop attachment from 1907. The original owners of this Edison Home Model B phonograph opted to have the dealer attach this or install it on their phonograph here. As you can see, gone is the, the manual start and stop switch, replaced by that nickel cap. This is completely original, and I want to show you how it works. But I'll show you the details on how the Wilkes-like start and stop attachment works a little bit later but just give you an idea you can see it's shut here if we open it up we would slide a cylinder on as normal and when we're done with this when we have the cylinder mounted on the mandrel we would shut it like this and watch what happens when we go to start it You push the normal start and stop lever down and it starts automatically. When you're done with a cylinder, you pull up as normal, but on normal Edison home phonographs, that would continue going. Take your cylinder off, put another cylinder on, just close the gate again, push the button down, and your cylinder starts again. This has a nice quiet motor in it too. Anyway, so when we come back I'd like to play for you an Edward M. Favor Two minute Albany Indestructible. Take me around in a taxi cab. And after we're done playing it on the Edison Home Model B with a Wilkes like attachment, I will explain a little bit more in detail about how the Wilkes like attachment works. Okay? See you in a few. 
Okay, so we're back and we're going to play Take Me Round in a Taxi Cab on the Edison Home Phonograph Model B from my collection with the rarely seen Wilkes like start and stop attachment from 1907. So here we go, you can see I've got the cylinder mounted and we're going to lock it down and it'll start automatically. Here we go. Hope you enjoy it folks. like that it stops it. No longer do we need to reach over here, start and stop it here, come back over here, open the gate, you know, unlock it, open the gate and so forth. So when we come back I'll explain a little bit more in detail about the Wilkes like start and stop. See you in a few. Hi everybody. Okay, so we're back and I wanted to show you the action of the 1907 Wilkes-like start and stop attachment on this Edison Home Model B from my collection. You can see a close-up of the plunger. There's the normal start and stop uh, toggle for the Edison Home uh, Model B. So there is the, the top part of the Wilkes-like start and stop attachment. As you can see, a hole has to be drilled or was drilled in the, uh, by the dealer presumably into the, uh, the wooden bed plate here. And as we look down below, we can see the action part of the Wilkes-like start and stop attachment. You can see that there's a bar that travels across here. Here you can see the uh, patent applied for connector here. That bar continues across to where the normal stop would be. 
start and stop, the manual start and stop for the Edison uh, Model B home. And here you can see the uh, the action here, the lever basically that replaced the manual lever and it touches the friction disc and that's pretty much how the uh, Wilkes like 1907 start and stop attachment looks and here's how it works so let's say that we mount a cylinder on, for example I have here uh, Take Me Around in a Taxi Cab. It's a wonderful Edward Dem Favor uh, Albany Indestructible. You can see the box and the lid that somebody long long ago adorned with a pretty lady. That's the uh, original box lid and somebody did a nice painting on that. I, I have a bunch of cylinders like this that have this uh, special painted lid on it. They're, they're quite unique and interesting. Anyway, so here's how the Wilkes like start and stop attachment works in a close up. So you have you open up the gate like this, you mount your cylinder like this. Push it on as good as you can. This is kind of hard to do holding a camera, but I'll do my best here to give you an idea how this works. So we close the gate and watch, we're going to start it. And there the motor starts. I'll show you the action again, I'll stop it. So you can see the lever is in the down position, you can see the cylinder is turning. Now let's say we're done playing the cylinder. We lift the lever up and it stops the cylinder. Let me show you the action here. So down, see? Up. So that's basically how it works. Just a, a very simple but very handy means to uh, start and stop your cylinders. Okay? And here you can see, let's see if I can, what they did was so that you didn't have that gaping hole where the switch, the, the old on off switch would be the dealer and I'm sure the uh, the Wilkes like company provided this little cap here it's a little nickel plated cap to cover the the hole so it looks nice okay so there it is that's how the Wilkes like start and stop attachment looks and works